Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm really excited to announce that I'm collaborating with David Bombal yet again to release another course on Udemy. I'm really excited about this announcement, but before we talk about it any further, let's see the promo video. Hey everyone, it's David Bombal, really excited about this new Udemy course. I'm collaborating with the amazing Rana Khalil, bringing her courses to Udemy. Rana, tell us about this new course that you've created. Hi, David. I'm really excited about this course because it's going to be one of several courses that we're going to release to get an individual from beginner level in web application pen testing all the way to expert level. Rana, in this course, what are you covering? For this course specifically, we're going to be covering a vulnerability category called command injection. Command injection is a vulnerability that allows an attacker to execute operating system commands on the underlying server where the application is installed. In most cases, you could leverage this vulnerability to gain full-on remote code execution on the underlying server. That's why it's absolutely important as a pen tester to know how to find and exploit this type of vulnerability. Rana, are there free online labs as part of this course? Absolutely. So the way I've structured this course is it has both a theory component and a lab component. For the theory component, we teach you everything that you need to know about command injection vulnerabilities. So we'll start off with explaining what is a command injection vulnerability. What are the different types of command injection vulnerabilities? How do you find and exploit these types of vulnerabilities from both a black box and a white box perspective? We'll also go over prevention and mitigation techniques on how to defend your applications against this type of vulnerability. That's the theory component. For the lab component, we have five hands-on labs well, you'll get a chance to exploit command injection vulnerabilities of varying difficulty levels. So we'll start off with a really simple case of command injection called embed command injection, where you see the output of your payload in the response of the request. And then we'll move on to more difficult command injection vulnerabilities like line command injection. Now with each lab, we'll first teach you how to exploit the vulnerability manually, and then we'll script it in Python. Now, the labs are created by the Portsvigor organization as part of the Web Security Academy. And in my opinion, the Web Security Academy is the gold standard when it comes to learning about web security. Ronnie, you got to tell us a story about how Portsvigor wanted to buy your labs. Yes, Portsvigor did reach out to me when I first started my YouTube channel. They were really impressed with the type of work that I was doing and wanted to integrate my videos as part of the official solution in the Portswigger website. However, I wanted to keep the intellectual property of my own content, and so I respectfully declined. Since then, my videos have had over a million views on YouTube. I have thousands of people taking my courses on my academy. My videos did get integrated in the Portswigger website under the community solutions, and now my videos are on Udemy. Ronnie, you highly certified got degrees, you've got certifications, but you also do this day to day in the real world. Oh, I do this on a daily basis. I have my own consulting company where I work with clients to pen test their applications and the third party applications that they acquire. I also work with my clients to integrate security as part of every phase of the software development lifecycle. This way, we're more likely to find vulnerabilities earlier in the SDLC when they're much easier to fix less time consuming to fix and cost much less to fix. Now, when it comes to command injection vulnerabilities, whenever I do find this vulnerability in an application, it usually leads to full remote code execution. And that's why it's absolutely important for you as a pen tester to know how to find and exploit this vulnerability. And if you're a software developer, it's absolutely important that you know how to defend against this type of vulnerability. So I'm really excited to be collaborating with Rana, bringing you this new Udemy course. I really hope that you enjoy it. But if for any reason you don't like the course, you can get a refund. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee. I can't imagine that you'll ever use that because Rana's content is amazing. There are thousands and thousands of people out there who have taken her courses and who love her content, and so do I. So hopefully we'll see you in the course. As you heard in the promo video, I'm collaborating with David Bombal to bring my Web Security Academy series content on Udemy. Now you might be wondering, what's the difference between Udemy my own academy and my YouTube channel. And so I've prepared a comparison 
on the different features that you might be interested in that you might get on one platform but not on another platform. I'll start off by saying that the videos on YouTube, Udemy, and my Academy platform are very similar with very slight differences. First thing is the YouTube videos contain sponsor messages and promotional ads. The only way that I can afford to keep the channel going is by advertising my paid course, and so you'll see every YouTube video contains a promotional ad at the beginning of the video and at the end of the video. There's also the YouTube ads that play while you're watching the video. Now, if you were to purchase it on Udemy or My Academy, you won't see any sponsor messages or YouTube ads. In terms of subtitles, only Udemy currently has auto-generated subtitles. I'm working very hard to bring subtitles to My Academy. It's currently my number one priority. Now for YouTube, some videos have subtitles, but majority of them don't have auto-generated subtitles. Another important feature is the content that is included on each platform. My Academy contains all the videos that I've recorded, which is over 140 videos covering 12 vulnerability categories. Whereas on Udemy, each course covers one vulnerability category. So for example, SQL Injection has its own course on Udemy, and server-side request forgery has its own course on Udemy as well. The idea is that if you want to learn only about a specific vulnerability category, then you can buy the course on Udemy, but if you want access to all the vulnerability categories, then you can access them on my Academy platform. Now for YouTube, we have a weekly release schedule, and so not all the videos are currently on my YouTube channel. Up next is gaining access to a Discord channel to ask questions. Currently, there's no support for videos released on YouTube. I tried, but it's impossible for me to keep up with all the comments and questions on YouTube, and so that's why we created paid courses. If you need help and you've purchased the course on Udemy, David's amazing technical team will be there to help you. You'll also get access to David's Discord channel where you can ask questions. Now, if you were to enroll in my own academy, you would get access to a Discord channel dedicated to the Web Security Academy series course. In this Discord channel, you essentially gain access to me. I'm the one that is answering the questions, and you'll also get to collaborate with other students in the course. Last but not least, we have pricing. YouTube is obviously free. The Udemy courses are extremely cheap, and my course on my academy is a bit more expensive. However, again, you gain access to 50 plus hours of HD content and over 140 videos covering 12 vulnerability categories. And you also gain access to myself in the Discord channel to ask questions. And that's why it's more expensive. So to sum up, if you can't afford it, watch it on YouTube. If you're only interested in a specific vulnerability topic, get it on the Udemy platform. If you want access to the entire course, register for it on my academy. I've added links to both the Udemy course and the Web Security Academy series course in the description of the video. Again, I'm really excited about this collaboration and I look forward to seeing you on whichever platform you decide to watch my videos on. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video and I'll see you in the next one.